Hello, I'm Ty Mason from the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I'm a type 2 diabetic. Today, I'm going to answer the question, is zinc good for diabetes? But before we get into that, make sure you download my free diabetes shopping list, the Diabetes Shopping List, Foods to Eat and Foods to Avoid. You can do so by clicking the link below. You probably have zinc either in your pocket or purse right now or perhaps in a small jar, or in a small compartment in your car. I would be willing to wager on that. Why am I so confident? Because all pennies made after 1982 are actually at least 95% zinc. That's right. Most of the pennies you have are just copper-coated. You might even have zinc in some of the gadgets around your house. Many types of batteries include zinc in their composition, perhaps even the laptop you're on right now. You may have zinc on your fingers. Don't go wash your hands. Zinc is used to make a lot of jewelry as well. So if this material is used to make money and batteries and jewelry, can it possibly be good for diabetics? Well, all of us have zinc as part of our makeup. Our bodies use zinc for many functions, including aiding in immunity, helps in digestion, growth and repair of tissue, and can aid as an anti-inflammatory as well. So zinc is important to us as humans, but can taking extra zinc really help with those of us who have type 2 diabetes? Well, two studies were conducted on the possibility of taking zinc as a means of preventing diabetes. One by the University of Newcastle in October of 2013 concluded, after studying nearly 9,000 women over a six-year period, that zinc supplements was effective in the aid of preventing type 2 diabetes. Another study conducted by Harvard came to the similar conclusion after studying 82,297 women over a 24-year period, publishing their findings in 2009. So zinc has the ability to help prevent diabetes, but is it good for someone who already has the disease? A study at the University of Chile says yes at least in animals, when zinc supplements were given to various animals, their fasting glucose levels were reduced. There is a limited number of studies on humans, but the evidence is growing that zinc can be a benefit to humans as well. Zinc, is it good for diabetes? Many feel it is. If you decide it might be beneficial to you, I have a couple of suggestions. First and foremost, as with any supplement, Consult your health care provider before you take anything. Secondly, be careful in your dosage. Your doctor will certainly guide you through this, but the recommended daily dose for women is 12 milligrams of zinc, and for men, it's 15 milligrams. I hope this answered your question if zinc is good or bad for diabetics. Don't forget to get your diabetes shopping list by clicking the link in the description box below. And let me know if you have any other diabetes-related questions. Thank you. I'm Ty Mason.